Hello and welcome to the Bible with Briscoe 2024. I am your messenger of the Word of God, Shemendor Briscoe. Today we will be covering Proverbs 13 through 15 and 2 Corinthians 5. Father, I just ask for clarity of voice and articulation and a smooth reading of your Word so that it may be a blessing to you and for all those who have tuned in from all around the world. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. And they all said, Amen. Contrast of the upright and the wicked. Psalm, I mean Proverbs uh, 13. A wise son accepts his father's discipline, but a scoffer does not listen to rebuke. And from the fruit of a person's mouth, he enjoys good. But the desire of the treacherous is violence. And one who guards his mouth protects his life. One who opens his lips comes to ruin. The soul of the lazy one craves and gets nothing. But the soul of the diligent is made prosperous. A righteous person hates false statements, but a wicked person acts dis disgustingly and shamefully. Righteousness guards the one whose ways is blameless, but wickedness brings the sinner to ruin. There is one who pretends to be rich, but has nothing, and another pretends to be poor, poor but has great wealth. The ransom of a person's life is his wealth, but the poor hears no rebuke. The light of the righteous rejoices, but the lamp of the wicked goes out. Through overconfidence comes nothing but strife, but wisdom is with those who receive counsel, and wealth obtained from nothing dwindles, but one who gathers by labor increases it. Hope deferred makes the heart sick, but desire fulfilled is a tree of life. One who despises the word will be will do badly, but one who fears the commandment will be rewarded. The teachings of the wise is a fountain of life to turn aside from the snares of death. Good understanding produces favor, but the way of the treacherous is their own disaster, and every prudent person acts with knowledge, but a fool displays foolishness. A wicked messenger fails to uh, into a wicked messenger falls into adversary, but a faithful messenger brings healing. Poverty and shame will come to one who neglects discipline, but one who complies with rebuke will be honored. Desire realized is sweet to the soul, but it is an abomination to fools to turn away from evil. The one who walks with wise people will be wise, but a companion of fools will suffer harm. Adversity pursues sinners, but the righteous will be rewarded with prosperity. A good person leaves and inheritance to his grandchildren, and the wealth of a sinner is stored up for the righteous. Abundant food is in the uncultivated ground of the poor, but it is swept away by injustice. He who withdraws his rod hates his son, but he who loves him disciplines him diligently. And the righteous has enough to satisfy his appetite, but the stomach of the wicked is in need. Contrast of the upright and the wicked. Proverb 14. The wise woman builds her house. The foolish tears it down with her own hands. One who walks in his uprightness fears the Lord, but one who is devious in his ways despises him. 
and in the mouth of the foolish is a rod for his back. But the lips of the wise will protect them. Where there are no oxen, the nature is clean, but much revenue comes by the strength of the ox. A trustworthy witness will not lie, but a false witness declares lies. A scoffer seeks wisdom and finds none, but knowledge is easy for one who has understanding. Leave the presence of a fool, or you will not discern words of knowledge. The wisdom of the sensible is to understand his ways, but the foolish of fools is deceit. Fool mock, mock at sin. But among the upright there is goodwill, and the heart knows its own business bitterness, and a stranger does not shy or share its joy, and the house of the wicked will be destroyed, but the tent of the upright will flourish. There is a way which seems right to a person, but its end is the way of death. Even in laughter the heart may be in pain, and the end of joy may be grief. One with a wayward heart will have his fill of his own ways, but a good person will be satisfied with his. The naive believes everything, but the sensible person considers his steps. A wise person is cautious and turns away from evil, but a fool is arrogant and careless. A quick-tempered person acts foolishly, and a person of evil devising devices is hate. The naive inherit foolishness, but the sensible are crowned with knowledge. The evil will bow down before the good and the wicked at the gates of the righteous. The poor is heeded even by his neighbor. But those who love the rich are many, and one who despises his neighbor sins. But one who is gracious to the poor is blessed. And will they who despise evil not go astray? But kindness and truth will be to those who deserve, uh, who devise good. In a la all labor there is profit, but mere talk leads only to poverty. The crown of the wise is their riches, but the foolish of fools is simply foolishness. A truthful witness saves lives, but one who declares lies is deceitful. In the fear of the Lord there is strong confidence and his children will have refuge. The fear of the Lord is a foundation of life by which one may avoid the snares of death and a multitude of people is a king's glory. But in the uh, scarcity of people is a prince's ruin and one who is slow to anger has great understanding, but one who is quick-tempered exalts foolishness. A tranquil heart is life to the body, but jealousy is rottenness to the bone. And a one who oppresses the poor taunts his maker, but one who is gracious to the needy honors him. The wicked is thrust down by his own wrongdoing, but the righteous has a refuge when he dies. Wisdom rests in the heart of one who has understanding, but among fools it is made known. Righteousness exalts a nation, but sin is a disgrace to any people, and the king's favor 
is toward a servant who acts wisely, but his anger is toward him who acts shamefully. Contrast of the upright and the wicked. Psalm 50, uh, sorry. Proverbs 15. A gentle answer turns away wrath, but a harsh word stirs up anger, and the tongue of the wise makes knowledge pleasant. But the mouth of fools spouts foolishness, and the eyes of the Lord are in every place, watching the evil and the good. A soothing tongue is a tree of life, but perversion in it crushes the spirit. A fool rejects his father's discipline, but he who complies with rebuke is sensible. Great wealth is in the house of righteous, but trouble is in the income of the wicked. And the lips of the wise speak knowledge, but the hearts of the fools are not so. The sacrifice of the wicked is an abomination to the Lord, but the prayer of the upright is his delight. And the way of the wicked is an abomination to the Lord, but he loves the one who pursues righteousness. There is severe punishment for the one who abandons the way. And one who hates and rebukes will die. Shoal and Abaddon lie open before the Lord. How much more the hearts of mankind. A scoffer does not love one who rebukes him. He will not go to the wise. A joyful heart makes a cheerful face. But when the heart is sad, the spirit is broken, and the mind of the intellect of the intellect the mind of the intelligent seeks knowledge, but the mouth of fools feeds on foolishness. All the days of the needy are bad, but a cheerful heart has a continued feast. Better is a little with the fear of the Lord, than great treasures and turmoil with the treasures. And better is a portion of vegetables where there is love than a fatted ox served with hatred. A hot-tempered person stirs up strife, but the slow to anger cleans uh, and calms a dispute. The way of the lazy one is like a hedge of thorns, but the path of the upright is a highway. A wise son makes a father glad, but a foolish man despises his mother. Foolishness is joy to one who lacks sense, but a person of understanding walks straight. Without consultation, plans are frustrated, but with many counselors they succeed. A person has joy in an apt answer, and how delightful is a testament or a timely word. The path of life leads up word for, uh, for the wise, and so he may keep away Shoal below, and the Lord will shall tear down the house of the proud, but he will set the boundaries of the widow. Evil plans are an abomination to the Lord, but pleasant words are pure. He who profits in ill like daily troubles his own house. But he who hates bribes will live. The heart of the righteous ponders how to answer, but the mouth of the wicked pours out evil things. 
and the Lord is far from the wicked, but he has, but he hears the prayer of the righteous. Bright eyes gladden the heart, and good news refreshes the bones. One whose ear listens to the life giving rebuke will stay among the wise, and one who neglects discipline rejects himself. But one who listens to a rebuke acquires understanding. The fear of the Lord is the instruction for wisdom, and before honor comes humility. And that was Proverbs 13 through 15. And now we will be turning to 2 Corinthians 5. The temporal and eternal. 2 Corinthians 5. For we know that if our earthly tent, which is our house, is torn down, we have a building from God, a house not made of by hands, eternal in the heavens. For indeed in this tent we groan, longing to be clothed with our dwellings from heaven. And since in fact, after putting it on, we will not be found naked. For indeed we have, are we who are in this tent, grown, being burdened, because we do not want to be unclothed, but to be clothed, so that what is mortal will be swallowed up by life. And now he who prepared us for this very purpose is God, who gave us the Spirit as a pledge. And therefore, being always of good courage and knowledge, are, and knowing that while we are at home in the body, we are absent from the Lord. For we walk by faith, not by sight. But we are of good courage and prefer, rather, to be absent from the body and to be at home with the Lord. And therefore, we also have as our ambition, whether at home or absent, to be pleasing to him. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ, so that each one may receive compassion for his deeds done through the body in accordance with what he has done, whether good or bad. And therefore, knowing that fear of the Lord, we persuade people, but we are well known to God. And I hope that we are also well known in your conscience. We are not commanding ourselves, are commending ourselves to you again, but are giving you an opportunity to be proud of us, so that you will have an answer for those who take pride in appearance and not in heart. For if we have lost our minds, it is for God, and if we are of sound mind, it is for you. For the love of Christ controls us, having counsel of concluded this, that one died for all, and therefore all died, and he died for all, so that those who live would no longer live for themselves, but for him who died and rose on their behalf. And therefore from now on we recognize no one by the flesh, even though we have known Christ by the flesh, and yet now we know him in this way no longer. And therefore, if anyone is in Christ, this person is a new creation. The old things passed away, and behold, new things have come. Now, all these things are from God 
who reconciled us to himself through Christ and gave us the ministry of reconciliation, namely that God was in Christ reconciling the world to himself, not counting their wrongdoings against them. And he has committed to us the word of reconciliation. And therefore we are ambassadors for Christ, as though though God were making an appeal through us. We beg you on behalf of Christ, be reconciled to God. He made, made him who knew no sin to be sin in our behalf, so that we might become the righteousness of God in him. And that was Second Corinthians 5, which concludes the Bible with Briscoe 2024 for today. Tomorrow we will be covering Proverbs 16 through 18 and Second Corinthians 6. Father, I just ask, uh, thank you for your word. Because without your word, I would not be able to be your messenger of the word. And so I give you all the praise and all the glory. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. And they all said, amen. I'd like to thank you folks for tuning into the Bible with Briscoe 2024 for today. And as always, you know, God loves you, and so do I. So come back and see us again tomorrow, because God willing, we will be here. And we hope that you are too. Please, like and share. God bless you.